Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Michael McCarville. This is Fun with Fallen Flags, episode 67. And this is a scratch building project for uh, long coal bins. It's a lot like the previous one. As a matter of fact, the previous one is still pictured up on the screen. So what you see there is the shorter coal bin. And this was about a 48 footer. And it is 12 feet deep. We're gonna make this exact same thing, but we're gonna make them 70 feet. And we're going to add some extra fun details to it. So let's jump right into that. Okay, so the first step is to build the base. So just like the other one, this one's just longer. The stringers are going to be 70 feet long. But other than that, they're uh, 12 by 12 by 12, 12 inch by 12 inch by 12 feet uh, for the sills, the bottom pieces. So get those on glue them up, make sure they're nice and straight. Now I did use the spacers again so that I spaced out um, what I was gonna do. So each of those stringers had an 18 inch square block that I used to get the spacing right. And it just worked out that 18 inches worked out well for this project. Uh, you might have to adjust that. But those gluing blocks, those little spacer blocks are great. You glue one in, put the blocks in, align the next one up, glue it in, move the spacer blocks over, and you just leapfrog and you just glue all of them. Um, also glue from the outside towards the inside so the outside ones are nice and straight. And if there's any kind of gap deviation, it happens in the middle. Anyway, so again, it's uh, check out the previous video and you can see what that looks like. After that section is done, uh, we're going to take that scribe sheeting and we're going to stain it and then glue it on as well. And what you end up with is three platforms. We're actually only going to use two of these, but I built three of them. Since I was building two, I might as well build three, right? Um, and uh, I built, I, we have three platforms done. So what you see here is the uh, stain on the, on the top two. The top surface has actually gotten two coats of stain. They're going to get three because I want them to be really dark. But the side walls and stuff aren't going to get exposed directly to coal, at least on the outsides. So we're only going to wash those once and then go over with some additional staining. So, but we'll get to that. All right, let's bring up our next step. Okay, so what do we got to do next? Now we got to start building the bins. So what you see here is the uh, posts. We're adding the posts around the base. And... This is a tedious process, but take your time, it'll pay off. Uh, once you have the, um, the sills on the bottom nice and evenly spaced, you put the posts right on the same spot where the sills are, so that way you have a good gluing surface of the, um, the uh, riser and then the post that sticks out of it. You can glue to both those surfaces and get a nice good bite when you, when you glue on to... Uh, uh, that surface. So this takes a while. I use a triangle to make sure everything was straight in two directions up against the uh, post and then along the side um, so that uh, everything is nice and square. And then you have this. And again, I did three. It was about as time consuming to do two as a as it was to do three. So I just did a third one. So I have an extra one if at some point I want to do some sort of project. But you can see all the posts are done. Um, I did the corners. I didn't do uh, three posts in the corner to make a make a, uh, an angle. I just did two facing each other and they weren't really touching. They're all going to get glued in together when, they, uh, when we put the side walls on. So let's take a look at that. So the process that I used for gluing the sidewalls on, you can see here. Again, stain everything beforehand, and uh, you don't necessarily have to give it the final stain amount, but if you're thinking you're gonna come back, it's okay to come back and give it another wash after it's done, but stain it beforehand so that you get that stain um, that goes underneath the glue. You don't glue it on, then try to stain and get the uh, stain that goes under the glue. It doesn't work, it'll look horrible. Anyway, 
Uh, I used just binder clips, just office supply clips, and then those other red modeling clips. Um, and I just went down really gingerly and clipped each of the boards, glued it on, clipped each of them on, just a tiny little dab on the inside of the post all the way down. If there's a little that squirts out, that's okay. We'll scrape that off. Um, and then just clip them. And you can see I've already started. There's uh, one or two uh, boards on this picture that are already uh, glued on. And I did three up one side, three up the other, and then I did a fourth one on whichever side looked like it might be the back, the best candidate for the back. So, and then moving on, you end up with, again, the two that we like are the front two. The back one will be a future project. So you can see that the walls are all glued on and the ends have been glued on as well. I did the long sides first. And then I did the short ends, and they seem to fit better. So the bins are complete at this point. Now, we're doing some extra stuff to these, because otherwise we would essentially be done with the project, because it would look essentially exactly like this. So what we want to do is we want to show um, a little bit more finesse on these. So I took a hobby knife and I carved down um, and these are a little exaggerated but it's really difficult to see them once you get everything stained dark if you don't kind of exaggerate that that wear but you can see in between the posts there's a wear where there's uh, coal getting shoveled back and forth and uh, you know guys climbing up over getting into the bin so they can shovel into the tender when it pulls up so anyway we see a lot of wear and tear on the front edge, which is only three boards high. The back edge is four boards high. And you can see that the posts still stick up just a little bit, but we're gonna use that extra uh, here in a second. But on the front side, we want it to look like a lot more wear, the boards maybe come off um, and was never replaced. And then the third uh, board high is got all that wear on it. Now, this wear hasn't been stained because I wanted you to be able to see it. So let's look at it when it's stained and you're gonna see it's a lot harder to actually notice. Oh, I take it back. Um, that's still, <laughs> that gives you a better idea of both of them, what they look like, but um, I still haven't stained those, so. All right, so let's talk about the next piece. Now, in one of these, I wanted some support in the center because they're 70 feet long, and the 48 foot long footer is, um, you know, it's 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 got some some length to it, but not like this one. It's a lot longer, and I wanted to be able to show some support in the center so that those those uh, walls towards the center don't just completely spread out on us. So I wanted to add some uh, detail. So I took a, what was it? Number 64 uh, uh, drill bit and drilled through the very top of the, um, the, uh, the wall supports. You can see coming through the very back, um, the holes have been drilled through. And on the front side at the same height, uh, they're also drilled through. And I used a piece of brass wire, which is one inch in diameter HO scale, a uh, piece of brass wire. And it was a precision, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, Detail Associates was the name of the brand that I had. I just happen to have this on, on in stock. So I've been using this stuff up on all kinds of projects, but like this type of project, uh, it's nice to just have some of that stuff on hand. So anyway, brass wire, and then those little knobs at the end, those go in the holes on the outside and it's a plastic casting it's called a nut bolt washer casting or an nbw you might hear it refer to that it's just a plastic what looks like a washer with a bolt head on the top uh, or a nut on top with a, a little bit of the rod and, and the intention is that it looks like it goes all the way through with with uh, nuts and washers on the end so it looks like that so 
paint those a uh, testers rust and uh, kind of get a little bit of uh, rust coming down on the posts uh, just below where those things are. And that's it. Now you can see the wear, how it's uh, been stained black and it's a lot harder to see. So I want to exaggerate it just a little bit so it looks like there's a little bit more wear. And it might have been, uh, it might look like that anyway. Uh, you can also see that I've taken some additional um, India ink wash and applied that to the deck. But also I've done a few uh, run marks down the front of it too. So it looks like uh, the coal has gotten on there. It rained, it got weathered. So anyway, so let's talk about the other one. So I didn't use nut bolt washers on both of them. I want them to look different. So on this one, what I did was I took some two by sixes uh, scale material and I stained them again, then glued them on. So it looks like the entire structure is held together with um, two by sixes. So it stops those posts from spreading. So the walls don't, don't spread out. This one's made out of wood and I thought, well, this one maybe need, needs a little bit more wear and tear on it. So I decided to add some supports on the end to make it look like one of the um, ends look like it might have started to splay out and they decided they're going to go ahead and, and reinforce it on that, that corner. So you can do this as far around as you want. Um, you don't want to really do it on the track side because you're going to want this to set up nice and close to the track. But what you see here is uh, essentially a couple of railroad ties. By the way, the fence posts on uh, the walls all the way around are just HON3. <coughs> excuse me, HON3 um, uh, posts uh, or ties for the posts on the walls. And um, that's what these are, these braces are. They, I figured they're probably going to use something that's, you know, laying around, was easily accessible, and they propped it up with some lumber that they had, and there was some ties. So nice and easy. Really took probably a minute or two to do that, and it's a cool effect, and it's just something else that you can add. Um, so what we have is... Give me a second. Our final project. So um, on the one in the rear, that's the back side of it. Um, and you can see how the uh, the three boards on the on the back side are that's actually the front of it. So you can see how there's a little bit difference in height on some of the walls. Um, the one in the front is the nut bolt washer one, um, and they've been given additional stains. Uh, you'll also notice that the one on the front that has the nut bolt washer castings that are painted rust, a little hard to see, but um, they, they have that additional staining on the front. The one in the back looks like that too, but what we're looking at is we're looking at the back side of it. So you see it's just got a single wash on it, so it looks like it's just kind of that aged wood. It doesn't look like they loaded a lot of you know coal and stuff in and out of it, and that side really didn't get exposed to any of the grime or, or you know, the steam engines um, making them filthy and the workers getting that filthy. So what you see is the back side uh, is a lot cleaner than the front side. So that's it. That's our final project. So these were both scratch built. We didn't use any kits. We didn't use any plans. I just used um, material, uh, just um, northeastern scale scribed decking and um, you know, dimensional lumber that you can get from a couple different manufacturers or even a craft store uh, sells some of that stuff as well. So that's it. Pretty simple. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please feel free to uh, join the Facebook uh, HO Scale Tutorials group as well as the YouTube channel and uh, click the bell icon and you get updates. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I hope this encourages you to go out and attack one of these projects, but I had a lot of fun doing them, and I hope you try it, and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching, and take care.